<clears throat> All right. We are live. July 25, 2023. I've been procrastinating a lot to do this video, but I'm at a point where I have to do create something every day. So here we go. So a couple of months ago, I went for a tech event. There were like a lot of startups, beginner friendly companies, investors, huge tech companies. Among those companies, I found out a great company, which their product is entirely new and nobody ever seen. So I thought, why don't do do a research on them, which is free, and I got their contacts. So. <clears throat> The company I'm talking about is this Neurons module product. Doesn't make any sense. This was their brochure. They're basically a Taiwan based company. If you know, Taiwan makes a lot of chips, microchips, uh, semiconductor chips, and they are in the market, hot market. And I think there's, a, there's an upcoming war coming for Taiwan between China and Taiwan. Anyways, so. If you see this, you won't understand shit. I didn't understand shit. 96 board. Where is it? Uh, I need a pen. I need a pen. Okay. Ninety-six board for EVK. What the fuck is that? Empower Empower AI on developer. 3D facial recognition module. These are like small devices they got, this company, Neurons, and they have uh, pretty good applications for these uh, devices. 3D facial recognition module, I saw a live uh, stuff they're doing. So you can basically program these devices to recognize a face or recognize an unrecognized face or a movement. That's how it works. Empower AI on device education developer. RGB sensor module. Empower AI on device education developer. <clears throat> I don't understand. M.2 cards. Empower AI on all devices education developer. This is like a USB chip. So if you plug it in, no, that's not the USB chip. The next one. USB dongle. This is where my attention got. So KL520, KL. 720 empower ai on all device education developer so imagine you <clears throat> you have an old device what do you mean like windows xp or some shit if you can move your ai apps to these usb drives and change that your old device whatever it is it can run those ai softwares which sounds pretty interesting it's like the iron man story coming to real life so that's it now let's get to their website online to get some clear view what the fuck is going on neurons chips Taiwan what is the spelling again K N E R O N K N E R O N. My spelling is really bad. There you go. This is their official website. Oh god, is it in Japanese? No. Is it, is it a different language? Translate to English always. Thank you. See? <clears throat> so, this is their official website. Let's start from the beginning. If you watch this, you are in the right path. From cloud to the end, AI computing continues to move forward. Yes, it is. Neon looks forward to working with you to empower everything with terminal AI solutions to make AI un... un... what? What the fuck of a word is that? I'll find it out. Un uh, how do they spell? 
Ubiquitous. Ubiquitous. Present appearing or found everywhere. Hmm. Solutions and make AI um, ubiquitous, which means it's everywhere. So if you have like a Jarvis in your pen drive, you can move that to any device. That's what they're saying. What is terminal AI? I have no idea. How do we implement endpoint AI? I have no idea. Hmm. <clears throat> So this is their website. It's all in different language, but before it wasn't like this. See, image recognition. This is the stuff I showed you before. They have image recognition chips. See, this guy is using a phone, and that phone already recognizes it, just like your Apple, Samsung face recognition. Neural network processor (NPU) AI accelerated algorithms for end devices. System on chips, the best balance of performance and energy efficiency. That's that's the whole point. That's the whole point of these semiconductors. Hmm. We'll get to that. Before that, let's see. This is the device. See, their website isn't that good. I'll be honest with you. Like in between these images, it's hard to read. What the fuck is that? A small but sophisticated deep learning development tool. A small but sophisticated deep learning development tool. A tool that provides interference acceleration based on deep learning network modules, development hosts, and many third party single board computers. Hmm. Click to buy. I believe it takes us to Amazon. No, it doesn't take us to Amazon. AI dongle, highly efficient edge interface. 2077 is here. Okay, okay. Let's see the next one. Neo AI app mob. Neo's personal mobile AI platform makes AI accessible <coughs> to everyone, making AI apps, apps as ubiquitous that stuff as today's mobile apps. So they have an app store just for AI apps. Legit. Softwares, they have smart home, smart city, smart factory, hmm. hardware, face recognition module, dongle. This dongle got my attention. I'll be honest with you. And if you take a look, <coughs> where are their applications? Okay. Application areas. Neonor's technology solutions are designed to accelerate artificial intelligence and can be applied to smart driving, security devices, and smart homes. <coughs> intelligent driving. The high-performance, high-reliability intelligent driving solution can effectively identify people, vehicles, signs, and obstacles. And AI applications such as blind spot detection, collision warning, and driving behavior detection can... Okay. Smart security with Nune's terminal AI solution. <coughs> AI camera can detect multiple faces in real time, verify identity, and identi identify dangerous objects. And it also be applied to traffic management fields such as license plate detection and lane control. And it's all AI. Smart home. Neon solution makes smart home products truly smart. Users can control. A variety of smart home devices with visual or voice commands without uploading data to the cloud. Interesting. Edge server. This is this is where the cyberpunk all begins. Energy resistant edge servers offers high bandwidth, low latency, low power consumption, ease of development, and high security. It can be widely used in scenarios including Internet of Things, Industrial Internet of Things, Smart Cities, and Smart Something. Let us know how to work with you to benefit from using terminal AI on your device. Okay, I'll do that. Become a partner. <coughs> Translate. Okay. They have our headquarters in San Diego. San Diego, is that in US? Okay, I need to get partnered with them. Maybe marketing? Join us. I don't think they have any job. Honestly. 
they need like developer job sections okay <clears throat> say this they have revolutionary products that's gonna rule planet earth in like five ten years and so by apple socks i recommend this now hmm. adopts a new npr architecture okay these all are their products neuron kl530 wow this looks dope neuron kl720 Neuron KL520. Hmm. Core technology. Uh, Edge AI. What is Terminal AI? Terminal AI performs AI computing and machine learning on terminal devices instead of cloud servers, which is our innovation. What? <coughs> terminal AI performs AI computing and machine learning on terminal devices instead of cloud servers, which is our innovation. Terminal devices. See, we can do a lot with the laptop. I shouldn't have procrastinated. Yeah. Faster, faster, faster. A terminal device is any device that terminates a communication. A terminal, uh, fuck off. A terminal device a, is any device that terminates a communication channel. In computer technology, a terminal is an input-output I/O device, usually consisting of a keyboard and a monitor that acts as a front end of a mainframe, terminal server, or other back-end processing device. A terminal enables a user to communicate with internal CPU or another network device or computer. Terminals vary by required data type and format. Early terminals resemble typewriters. Current versions include include input keyboards and output displays. <coughs> terminals are divided into the following three classes according to their pros processing power. Intelligent terminal, smart terminal, fat client, and dumb terminal. Hmm, thin client. Is there anything? Okay. So terminal devices basically means a computer and that has a CPU that's it so you don't need a Google Cloud server to, to check your AI apps you just need a computer when do I need a terminal AI okay their website is good they just fix the most doubtable questions if you need to perform calculations when data is generated and how high response time in requirements terminal AI is the most suitable solutions with the increasing popularity of terminal AI the era era of AI I, ubiquity is coming yeah I totally agree why do you need terminal AI compared with cloud AI terminal AI can protect privacy improve computing speed and reduce the cost of AI implementation by terminal devices yeah totally who is leading the way in endpoint AI we are leading the way in endpoint there they just they just saying it our end of device AI solutions are not imaginary concepts but are already in mass use Impressive. RAN technology, audio recognition, visual recognition, which is 2D and 3D, helps partners lower costs, customize, commercialize. Hmm. Solutions that integrate hardware and IoT, Internet of Things. Hmm. This is interesting, right? So these guys just got the future of chips ai chips oh, fuck off okay usb dongle where the fuck is it where the fuck is it it's not here not here I should send them a message right it's that sounds like a plan in the tank new center about us okay that's everything from this <coughs> neuron company and if you take a look at their logo 
I like this very much. It's a fingerprint of your thumb, possibly, on something. It should be like a chip. And it has like a neural network slash DNA fingerprinting feeling. It's a really cool logo. I'll give you that. <clears throat> okay. I hope you learned something. You learned a lot, right? So, if I can invest in this company, that would be great. And I'll definitely send a message to them. Bye.